Well, according to spaceweather.com, it seems that we have yet another comet due this year. And this one's Comet Lemon. So this appears on the spaceweather.com site. And it goes on to say that glowing much brighter than expected, Comet Lemon C slash 2012F6 is gliding through the skies of the Southern Hemisphere about 92 million miles or 0.99 AU from Earth. Amateur astronomer Rolf Wall Olsen sends this picture from his backyard in Auckland, New Zealand. Now, I find that really interesting. You know, most of these comets and these asteroids are being discovered by amateurs. Now, do we really believe that NASA does not have their eyes on the sky and is not finding these objects? Are they that bad at their job? Or is it that they really do not want to publicize the amount of comets and asteroids we seem to have flying by us in 2013 and 2014? I think the latter makes more sense to me because seriously, I cannot believe that NASA with all of their state-of-the-art equipment is missing these comets. So it also goes on to say that I took this image of Comet Lemon on the 28th of January, says Olsen, and it has become quite bright now and has also grown a beautiful tail. Discovered on March the 23rd, 2012 by the Mount Lemon Survey in Arizona, Comet Lemon is on an elliptical orbit with a period of almost 11,000 years. This is the first visit to the inner solar system in a very long time. Now look at that contradictory sentence there. The first time to visit the inner solar system in a very long time? Well, if it's the first time, then it's never been in this orbit towards the inner solar system before. And isn't it interesting that they're saying that a lot of these comets are all coming into our solar system for the first time. And I find it interesting that they are contradicting themselves, saying that it's coming in for the first time for a very long time. Well, that doesn't even make any sense. So it goes on to say that it has uh, an elliptical orbit of 11,000 years. Uh, the comet is brightening as it approaches the sun and suggests that it will reach a second or third magnitude similar to the stars in the Big Dipper in late March when it approaches the sun at about the same distance as Venus, which is 0.7 AU. At the moment, the comet is glowing like a seventh magnitude star just below the limit of naked eye visibility. To capture the faint details of the comet's filamentary tail, Olsen used the 10-inch telescope. Now, I just find it interesting that once again, this comet is due to pass by the sun in March. We have another comet that is due to pass very close to the sun on the 11th of March as well. That is when it's going to make its closest approach. And I find that interesting because we all know that March 11 is a very interesting date when it comes to major Earth cataclysms. So I'm not saying that there could be or there will be any cataclysms. I'm just saying that we should be paying attention. Patterns seem to repeat and it's interesting that we have these two comets due to flyby around March. Anyway guys, I will link this article underneath the video as well as the JPL database and you can have a look at the orbit of this comet and all of the other information and as always I'll leave it here. Peace out.